Leo, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my love. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Leo, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Leo, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you so, so very much for your love and your support of the channel. All right, let's talk about your energy. Um, coming into your energy, a couple of things. One is heavy Aquarius and also Virgo. So you may have those other things in your chart in some way um, that are very uh, impressionable in your fire, in your natural fire energy, okay? Um, or you're connected uh, very close. Overall though, it feels like what the energies are doing is helping you with um, grounding and focus and thinking things through. The only thing is I don't feel like you're doing things to completion. Like you're, um, it's kind of like you, you, you ever fold the laundry and you do all the big stuff and, um, I'm, I'm not going to do the socks. I'll just throw them in the drawer, you know? Um, you clean the bathroom, but you're not refilling the soap dispenser, but the bathroom's clean. It's like, I don't feel completion in your energy and this is going to affect you later. So I want to bring it to the forefront now because it's, it, I feel like, I feel like it has to do with that Aquarius Virgo. It's like the Virgo is, it has you grounded on getting things done, but the Aquarius, that air is has your mind wandering at the same time so it's like you're not completely focused on tasks does that make sense it's like my body's here with you my mind is on the other side of town you know that song you know what i'm saying that's how i feel in your energy so you know let's see what's going on we're pulling from the animal spirit oracle for you today can i have leo please The fox, think on your feet, my love. Think it through. The fox is um, prepared. It's a very um, strategic energy. And I feel like you have, you have issues that you have to deal with in about a week or two that you're going to be not completely prepa prepared for, you know, it's going to be like, I just went to the store. I got the ham, no burger. I got peanut butter, no jelly. Like, so just, uh, that's what I'm saying. Just make sure that you're paying attention to details right now, because even in Fox energy, because you're preparing for something, don't dismiss the small things. Don't, uh, dismiss the little things. Um, because they're going to be just as important and a part of the future, okay? You have the bat coming in, which assures the rebirth, you know? It, it's an energy of letting you know of you're absolutely right. This is changing. This is going to work in your favor. This is going to um, push you forward, you know? You're going to get from behind and get to the forefront, that kind of energy. That's what the bat reminds you of. And the starfish is here um, really to kind of give you a bigger picture. You know, the starfish energy, it, it literally reads open to infinite possibility because it's a bigger picture, you know? Um, so if you were, let's say, going to school for nursing, you know, and you say, okay, these are the classes that I have to take and I can get my certification for nursing, but 
you found out that I don't need French, you know, I don't need to take a language or whatever for this nursing certification. So you don't take it, even though it's offered, it's part of the plan, but it's not for you in that moment necessary. I don't need it right now, but you will later, okay, with this rebirth energy. I'm telling you, it will definitely expand your possibilities if you take that language at the same time. While it's offered, it's literally being presented to you as part of the program. It's not a it's not a, a requirement, but it is an option. You, you understand? And this option, if you take it now, it will expand your options later. Do that make sense? So I'm glad this came out like this because it helped me explain because I was struggling with that, trying to explain the energy. <laughs> All right, let's get to your spread. We're going to do secret today. And it's a traditional uh, writer illustration, but it has some tidbits on it sometimes that are helpful. And then sometimes I'll, I'll give a whole nother desta, uh, explanation. See the chariot and the king of wands trying to pop out. Yeah, you have motion happening in your life that's leading you to the happiness and fulfillment that you want in all areas of life. You just have to be, stay in your kind of like, um, you know, stay Leo. You know what I'm saying? Stay Leo. Let me have uh, the core for Leo right, okay, in the page. This little thing that you're doing, I'm telling you, pay attention to the little things. Pay attention to the little things. This is a small thing, but it's going to have a big impact later. King of Swords is coming through. So really, I'm telling you something you've already heard. That's what this tells me here. I'm literally validating either something you've already told yourself or something someone told you, or you've already heard, you know, from the most high, you know, it's already in your spirit. Yeah. It's already in your spirit. Uh, what's crowning this energy, please, for Leo? I'm going to leave that the way it fell. Yeah. Crowning you. I said abundance, all areas of life. We said that with the starfish, that to, the possibilities are endless. You understand? The 10 of pentacles represents that abundance, but it's abundance in what you call abundance. That's the key to that 10 of pentacles. Ace of pentacles is abundance as well, divinely given as a gift. 10 of pentacles kind of represents what you call abundance. So what abundance to you might be, like I said, that certification. But what if you get the certification, you take that language class and you get the job in another country? Whoa, I didn't see that coming. You know, that's abundance. You know, I can get the job, I get paid and they pay for my move and my apartment or you understand? So or abundance in health, abundance in family, um, abundance in finances, of course, you know, all of these things. And it's crowning you because you're turning your life around. That's why that three of swords is kind of like sideways. You know, you've really been due diligent and step by step on uh, getting yourself out of a place of heartache or hardship. Okay, and focusing on your tomorrows with the help of your angels and ancestors. Okay, the thing about help from the other side is you know, great, it's it's it helps you with balance, great that it helps you with forward movement. However, in order for you to tap in, you have to be proactive in movement and because they follow your lead, you know, they're they um. It's a reactionary assistance. That's how I feel off of the Six of Cups right now. Like it's reactionary. You know what I'm saying? What's working against Leo? What's in the way right now? How do I say goodbye? Well, I definitely wasn't meant to be a singer. But, you know, Eight of Cups energy does represent letting go, walking away, um, taking that chance, that risk, you know, um, knowing that something out there is better for me. 
if 10 is complete bliss and fulfillment and you make it to eight with blood, sweat, ears, and tears, it's very easy to say, you know what? I, I'm gonna just stick with this. I'm satisfied. You know, I'm happy with this. But that never really pans out to be true. There's always a feeling, even showing with this three of wands, of something missing, something else coming in, wanting something more, you know? And it works against you right now if you're not seeing what these things represent to you, what they actually mean to you, you know? Because we all, as we grow and learn and edify, raise our vibration, our frequency and things like that, open up, you know what I'm saying? Then abundance changes to us. When I was a kid, you know, I wanted this. Now that I'm an adult, I want that. So because abundance, it does change as you grow, not only in age, in maturity and in intellect and in spirit. So it's not always, while you're in the middle of that process, it's not always easy to kind of like even realize it. You know, sometimes you really don't know until you look back like, oh yeah, dag, I forgot I wanted that. It's almost like I forgot I was hungry. And we've all done that. You always, you get caught up in something. Life is life and you're doing the wash or you get on the phone or whatever. You know, life is just life and and you forgot you were hungry. I forgot I had to go to the bathroom. We've all said things like that, you know? And then as soon as we say it, we're starving. As soon as we say it, where is the bathroom? I gotta go, you know? <laughs> so in that, that, that's kind of like where you are in trying to give an example of this energy. It's like you're in that place of the in-between and now it's coming into form that, uh, wow, I'm, I forgot I was hungry, you know, and it, let's go, let's go, let's go pay attention to the details because now that you remember you're hungry and now you're really hungry because it's been some time that's passed because you were on the phone or you were doing the wash or whatever, you know, you got caught up with the TV, whatever. Okay. But now you go to the kitchen and forgot that you started doing something else when you were on your way to the kitchen to take the meat out and the meat was never taken out or like in that little thing is going to make an impact now on how you handle this hunger. Did that make sense? So I hope I'm trying to like, it would work against you kind of not to, I guess, uh, to get stuck in, at being stuck or to settle or to, you know, just say nix it. You know, I hope I'm giving a good analogy here. I feel like I'm struggling with this, y'all. Uh, forgive me. But, you know, I read energy, so I try to put words behind that, and sometimes it just doesn't pan out. But that's why we use the I use these, because it helps me give you the picture. W where is this coming from for Leo? Please and thank you. Ah, divine clarity, understanding, communication, and power, baby. Woo you were gifted with knowledge. That's that fox. You started thinking about the thought about thinking and the answers started coming out of nowhere. And it gave you such hope and balance. And um, it's like you could feel your future self in your skin. And now you can't help, but I can't help, but keep going. That tells that, okay, this makes sense to me because I feel your passion. I'm just not seeing the, the, the fruit of the labor, like the labor don't match the passion in this energy. Does that make sense? I hope I'm saying this right. So in the past, you were given this divine sword. You have the ability. God gave you the sword to cut ties with something that has run its course in your life but to actually do it it is it is difficult to do it you actually have to focus on what's abundant to you the way to let go or walk away from blood sweat years to we're years and tears is to pull down from the fact that i'm changing the hurt in my life and I'm focusing on what's what's important and what's abundant to me. 
you know? Where is this going for Leo? Ah, slowly but surely. Knight of Pentacles, sure and true. This is going to be a process for you, Leo. I ain't going to lie. It's not going to happen fast. You know, this is my turtle with hemorrhoids, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is slow. But it's a very assured energy. It's a very consistent energy. Um, it's a dependable energy. And that might kind of be what you're focusing on. Maybe abundance to you is right now something that just won't let you down. You know what I'm saying? Or you, even you saying, I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to be for real this time. I'm going to follow through. I'm not going to get sidetracked. Uh, by the TV or by the whatever. I'm going to go ahead and take the meat out. And that way, when when I'm ready to cook, it's going to be ready. Now, you, you understand what I'm saying? So you're proactive in the steps that you're taking to try to put an end to this feeling of woe is me. It's like you're tired of the woe is me, you know? And I'm so glad because that was driving me crazy with y'all lately. But I'm so glad because you've been holding on to it. Yeah, you've been holding on to woe is me for a long time. And it's because you didn't feel validated or justified or had any reciprocity on the knives that were in your back. And the thing about it is, is that sometimes God gives you this divine sword for you to understand you're laying there with the knives in your back, but if you get up and love on yourself, you know, love on yourself, reintroduce yourself to healthy love, especially if love is the thing that hurts you, then you'll get back to what it feels like to just smile and laugh and enjoy life again, you know, with this three of cups. People are going to people. You know, they play with our heads. They play with our feelings. You've done it, Leo. I've done it. You know, uh, it's nobody perfect walking in this skin suit. Are you kidding me? People are going to people, you know, and yes, there's going to be competition. There's going to be low vibrations. You know, you've done it. I've done it. Okay. But you're realizing your part and you're taking accountability and you're trying to get out of it. And that's the change that you're calling in. You separated, isolated, and now you're understanding that you have been literally stressed out. Some sleepless nights, some headaches. There's some physical changes. I don't want to say that. Incontinence. I guess I'll say it like that. Um, there's a lot, you know, that's been going on that has been very personal to you. Um, that has kind of like impacted your thought processes, you know? So it seems like what's coming in for you first to assist, you remember the past, you got the knowledge first, right? And now you're starting to kind of like make moves and actually do things to make changes uh, in your life, right? But like I said, it's hard to walk away. So you're, do, you're moving slow because it's hard to walk away, period, you know? But as you go through this process, especially the mental process part, and you reach a point of at least some kind of balance, you know, some kind of um, assured energy that feels like, whoa, I did it. Whoa, I made it. Whoa, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take it up a notch. You know, that because that's 1111 energy. It's taking it up a notch. It's like if it was a relationship, I'm going to go steady. If you're going steady, we're going to live together. You live together, let's get engaged. We engaged, let's get married. It's that next step. It's just, the, you know, that little something. That's what that page represents, that little something. And I'm saying pay attention to the details because the thing about Four of Wands energy, and I'm glad it can. it's not just the next step and it's not just happy and celebratory. It's a portal. That's the thing. It's a portal. It's a blessing. It could catapult you and fast forward you into the reality that you foresee without um, going through what you need. It's like four of wands can become, you know, from from A to Z. You understand? Everybody's happy to get to the A because, yeah, I can get to the B, go to the C and, and take that step. And you can do that with this energy. But if you really wield it and you recognize it, you can portal. It, it, will, it will become a transport to you to catapult you right to the Z. And you won't have to go through. It's like you're, oh, I hope you're feeling me on this, Leo. God darn. 
I'm telling you, you can catapult yourself into control, complete control. All four kings uh, energy is reside in the emperor. This is the divine masculine. Okay. It's authoritative. You can move into an energy where you actually have control, catapult yourself into that, where it's up to what you say. That's what is known. That's what the people see what you want them to see. They know what you want them to know. They learn what you want them to learn because you're delegating the authority. You're setting the example. You understand? And what happens when that happens, when change happen and you start to grow? The enemy comes. How dare you leave my presence? How dare you break away from my hold? How dare you grow uh, beyond my reach? Oh, Shamalama ding dong, this is going through me today. But look at the victory that and success that you have over the enemy. Come on here, Leo. God darn. Nothing but victory and success. You make it through because you learn how to face whatever it is that held you. And again, the enemy, I just told Aries this. It's not, a, don't think of a, a red man with horns. No. Think of bondage bondage, anything that keeps you away from the grace and glory, from the connection, from the movement, from the growth, from the elevation, from the big picture, like fear, anxiety, depression, the doubt. These are things that bind you. You understand? That's why there are chains here because sometimes it comes in the form of other people and sometimes relationship that bind you. Ooh, good Lord. But you have victory and success. All right. And it's a juggle. It really is. It, you Sometimes we really have to, it, it's a skin suit thing. Uh, it's a human experience. You have to sometimes toss things back and forth to try to maintain even some type of balance in your life. But when your foundation is good, come on here, Leo. When your foundation is strong and leveled, Queen of uh, Pentacles here. See, she found she takes care of the roots. She takes care of the earth, so that even if something grows and it gets stolen, the the ground is still good. We can plan again. You understand me? Oh, Shamalama, mother loving ding dong. When your foundation is strong, it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you you still you you're grown in spirit. You're still in tune. You're getting foresight now. You understand? So when that foresight comes and you're making decisions in spirit, you're getting the knowledge. You can step into the divine feminine, which is coming with creation. God darn! So not only did you build your you're building your foundation and you're working on the soil so that the seeds produce you get the foresight from the high priestess to say hey i have a thief coming in the night to steal from my fruit so let me replant some more that's under the ground that they can't see because this is the life-changing events that i'm trying to burn Woo, Leo, I don't even think you fully understand i swear i know i know you don't yet but you will you will. It's going to start small, but you will. You understand me? You're going to grow tall. It's going to start small, but you're going to grow tall, baby. Come on back. Come on back. I know that's right. Welcome back. How about that? Welcome back, Leo. Woo! <laughs> Love it. All right, guys. That's enough for the day. Y'all got me worked up. Um, if any event you said, listen, green eyes, I don't even know you. Um, you don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon, check your rising. Um, don't take this energy. If it's not yours, please leave it here for who it's for. Okay. Everybody thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it supports the channel. All right. If any event you're looking for a personal appointment, email me perfectly imperfect tarot at gmail.com. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Gmail.com. All right. Anyway, which is the name of my channel. I am the perfect example that we are all perfectly imperfect. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.